you guys want to make a game? Uh, what about? Well, one of us can start the project and pass it on to the next person without any communication. And each of us will have 48 hours to work on it. How does that sound? Yeah, nah, I'm good. Bro. I forced my Discord mods to make a game with me. Each dev has 48 hours to work on the game before having to pass it on to the next person. Communication is absolutely banned, and the Discord mods must figure out how they can add unique twists to the game before time runs out. Will the Discord mods reign supreme and make the best game of the year, or will we just be left with a broken build? Let's find out. Our first mod sacrifice is Walter. Hello everyone, my name's Walter, and this is a Samyam mod jam. I uh, had the advantage, or if you're cynic, disadvantage, of being the first to work on the project. This meant that the honor of making the concept fell upon me. The team at Sinti Studios provided an awesome asset pack for this jam, which I perused to try and come up with a concept. I had a lot of fun exploring the demo levels they made, maybe a bit too much even. So I decided to do something a little bit more productive. While thinking about what to do, I set up the necessary folders and configured project settings to some nice defaults. Then it dawned on me what I liked most about the demo scenes were the vehicles. And since the pack is post-apocalyptic, why not take that opportunity to make something Mad Max-esque? This gave me a basic premise at least, but not much of a game hook. So I did what was only logical and took a game hook very literally by adding a grappling hook as a primary mechanic. The others would have their turn after me, so I didn't feel the need to come up with something super solid right off the bat. I picked a car model and got to work. First I started with input, which wouldn't change much regardless of how I moved the vehicle. I used a preference-based approach for inputs. This will make it easier for the others to tweak and adjust controls without necessarily having to dive into my code. Next came vehicle movement. I wanted movement to feel arcade-like, but if you're using Unity's built-in wheel colliders, that can be very difficult to achieve. I settled on the simplest way. I'd use a simple rollerball simulation and make the visuals follow that. This approach is not my original idea. It's inspired by a similar implementation by the wonderful asset creator and fellow Dutchman, Kenny. Nonetheless, implementing it wasn't without issues. Eventually, I did get it working though. The vehicle did not handle as I wanted it to. However, due to life getting in the way, as it often does, I had very little time to work on the project in the coming days. This left me with only the last morning to tweak the code and implement the basic grappling hook mechanic. Of course, I'd love to work on it more, but I had a deadline, so on to the next person it is. I'm looking forward to seeing what they'll make. Good luck. Walter did an awesome job, but before we dive into the next contestant, let's hear about the sponsor of this video, Aura. In this digital age, your personal information is extremely important. Unfortunately, there are those who take advantage and sell your information to make a profit. AI has also opened the avenues for more advanced forms of fraud and scams. I personally had to request these websites to take down my personal information. And that's why I'm excited about Aura. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. They'll even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. Aura monitors your emails and passwords to see if they were involved in a data breach or exposed on the dark web and gives you recommendations on what to do. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two-week free trial with my link. So just go to aura.com slash samyam to start your free trial, which will also be linked down below in the description, or you can scan the QR code. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. Alrighty, let's get right back into it. Stepping up to the plate, we have Geek Zebra. My first intent was to create some props to place later, but I noticed a bug with the car when it was colliding with obstacles. I decided to start by fixing them. While digging in the code, I noticed there was also an attempt to make a grapple mechanic. When the bug was fixed, I tried to make the grapple work, but couldn't. I added zombies instead. I imported a walk animation from Mixamo. For the navigation, I used the nav mesh agent component, which was perfectly suited for this. Only having a handful of zombies in the scene felt a little bit boring. I made a spawner to create waves. I tried the number that would feel impressive without slamming too much the FPS. After that, I created the mechanic to damage the car. When a zombie is close to the player, it would damage it. Since I didn't really have the time to make a death mechanic, 
mechanic, I simply added the slider linked to the hull value to make sure the next person wouldn't miss it. The final touch was to pack everything in the scene in an obvious way. I imported a punchy music from the asset store to give a little apocalyptic vibe when the wave were triggered. Also placed my attempt to make a grapple, hoping someone might be able to solve it if they wanted to. Ooh, I think zombies are a nice touch. Awesome job, Geek Zebra. Now it's time for the Sleepy Koala. On my turn to work on the project, I found that Geek Zebra had left me for Test Arena where zombies spawn as soon as I entered the red area in the middle. However, after testing the gameplay, I noticed that the zombies stopped being active when the car exited the hot zone. So, to make the gameplay more challenging, I extended the area of the hot zone to keep the zombies active even after the car left the zone. Since the game shouldn't be bare bones, I decided to use the junkyard in the demo scene as a source of inspiration. So, I took a snippet of the junkyard and extended it in our game scene to add more depth and complexity to the game. This process took considerable time, but it was worth the effort. To create a more immersive experience, I added fog around the junkyard arena. This gave the game a sense of mystery and depth, making it more engaging and thrilling. Once I was happy with the game's design, I added explosions using a high quality acid pack I had lying around. To prevent the player from spamming the use of explosions, I added a cooldown to each of the four explosions in each arena corner. As I am used to procedural generation, designing the scene manually was dull, but I persevered and put in my best effort to make the game engaging and visually appealing. However, while working on the game, I felt a bit sleepy, just like a koala. But I didn't let that stop me from trying to make the game as excellent as possible. Maybe I'll even make a video about it on my YouTube channel, The Sleepy Koala. Who knows? Perhaps it will be a hit. Great job, The Sleepy Koala. But now we save the best for last. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And it's finally my turn. But in reality, I was so impressed at all the work that had already been done. It looked plenty polished and the mechanics were mostly in place. The vehicle physics was feeling wonky and heavy to drive, but my attempts at making it better wasn't really working out. So I shifted priorities and spent time adding more obstacles and polish, like this poisonous pool that decreases your health when you drive over it. I also added some ramps because who doesn't like to perform aerial tricks while running away from zombies right and after making the map a little more interesting i wanted to have more abilities so the player could destroy the zombies someone in chat gave me the suggestion to make a pipe bomb similar to call of duty's zombies pipe bomb which would attract all the zombies and momentarily take them off of your back it might be a tad overpowered though and what's a zombie game without some machine guns? I slapped one onto the back of the vehicle where you would aim with your mouse where you wanted to shoot and press down to fire. Now the player actually had a fighting chance against the zombies. I also made an object tool for the bullets to save on performance as well as the zombies. Thanks to another suggestion from chat, I slowed down time when the player jumps off a ramp, added a jump slam effect that would kill zombies in the surrounding area, accompanied with a particle effect to make it look nice. I also implemented a health bar that follows the player car because it seemed unnecessary to have the UI taking space up on the screen. To make the game a little more interesting, I added variation in zombie size, included sound effects, camera shake, and most importantly, post-processing, the holy grail of indie game development. Leaving the actual gameplay mechanics till the end, like a good developer, that's a joke. I implemented a wave system where the number of zombies would increase as the waves progressed. Technically, this means there can be an infinite amount of zombies, which would probably crash the game, but hey, someone would have to be good enough to get there first. Wink wink. After some UI polish, a pause menu, and some finishing touches, the game was finally done. I'm excited to see how the mods will react. Yeah, it didn't take too long to load, that's nice. Alright, alright, I kept the car, but I added a big ass gun on it. That's a lot of zombies. And they seem to be attracted to it, so uh, that's really useful. Ooh, yeah, I don't know how I get the bombs. Maybe I can pick them up. Okay, the car is a bit slippery, but it's definitely change from what I had. Also seems like they didn't keep the grappling hook, but that's fine. I didn't even finish it anyway, so. I like the physics that's applied to the zombies when you hit them. Really surprised Unity can handle this many animators. Oh boy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what was that? And I do get back my ammo when the waves cleared. That's mighty useful. Yeah, okay, the, the game opens instantly. Oh, damn, cool. Ah, the forces stays a little bit longer. Wave 2. Oh, that was easy. Again, it's a bit off. I don't know if it gets toxic, maybe? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Ouch. Head if I right click. Boom. Wow. That's cool. I like those uh, 
those kind of like you know random effects <laughs> that could have been a drift game <laughs> the fog is cool like the cartoon fog is a, is a great idea ah yes splash screen very good ah oh, oh, straight into it yep righto ah oh, yes flame effect no zombies have been killed however the steering is still a little bit wonky but you know it is what it is it is a game jam after all like you can't expect everything all right, left click is to shoot, so let's go ahead and shoot. Ah, uh, yeah, zombies are going left and right. And what do we have here? What do we have here? Ah, uh, yep, righto. Wave two. Ah, uh, yep, righto, righto. That's actually pretty interesting. Except for that. Oh my god. It's a nice change to see that there's a HP bar on the vehicle. Before it was just on the top left side. It's like a little slider we had. I really like the touch of the ramps as well. All right, so I haven't played this in a couple weeks so you'll be getting a kind of newish reaction even though i was the last one to play the game and whoa i forgot how hard the car was to control so machine gun looks pretty nice i like that addition that i added uh honestly it's pretty fluid considering we did this in like 48 hours each person oh let's see the pipe bomb or whatever it's called Ooh, nice let's try this let's try this Woo! I might have made it too easy though because uh, the health just doesn't decrease that much with these zombies. What is that fire in the middle of the... What is that doing? What is that? I mean, it's pretty fun. Obviously, it's pretty polished considering how much time we had. Play the game and let me know how many rounds you survived down below. Thanks so much for watching and to my mods who participated in this challenge. I put some of their links below, so go check them out and give them some love. They've been amazing in the Samyam Discord and I really appreciate all the support that they've given. To make them feel even more special, please join our discord link in description to thank their contributions to the community yourselves it wouldn't be possible without them thank you to aura for sponsoring this video and to my patrons for their support my videos wouldn't be possible without the support of the patrons the link is in the description if you are interested i offer neat perks like source code for my tutorials exclusive content and early access to videos make sure to like subscribe for more cool videos join our discord and i'll see you next time